Hey dudes, it's Brie and I usually do art commentary and just art in general, but today, today is something special. So recently, if you've been subscribed or just lurking in the shadows watching unsubscribed, you might have noticed something. I've just recently hit 30,000 subscribers and that is certainly a number. If 30,000 people were in a room with me, I'd probably faint or have a freaking panic attack because holy macaroni. So to say the least, I was flabbergasted. B bamboo was old even. I was- Okay, you get it. Point is, I was not expecting this many people to like my content, so to show some appreciation to you guys, I had to think of something good. I've done Q&As, animations, and all that for my milestone so far, but I wanted you guys to feel more appreciated. So, I asked my audience what to do, and this lovely viewer gave me this awesome sauce idea. What if I drew my subscribers OCs? I instantly loved it and asked you guys, to which everyone freaked out over that idea, so that it was. I deleted the old post asking because more people were seeing that one than the new post, and I didn't want to re- I didn't want to have to keep redirecting people to the new post like a hundred times, and I made a community post again to let you guys know to make your submissions, and boy, did I get submissions. For an entire week, I sat there going through a bunch of submissions and then adding all these users into a Google Docs, which then, later on in the week, pasted them all into a virtual wheel. I decided to use an online wheel spinner to choose, since I'm quite indecisive for one thing, and two, I thought it'd be more fair, and I decided to choose 10 of you. I thought it'd be the fairest way, but I still do apologize for those that didn't get chosen. All of your OCs were lovely, and I enjoyed looking at all of them and reading their lore. But enough yapping, let's get to the OCs before I bore you so much that you click off. I'll save the sappy stuff for later. Alright, spin number one, let's go. Oh, it's so bad it's lagging. It is so big, it's lagging, that's crazy. This is a long spin. Okay. So first up was this user, Kiss Me Again, who made this awesome OC. I love the outfit and I would totally wear that, and I just love the OC overall. It's a simple black and white color palette, which is super cool, with their eye covered actually being red, which I plan to take advantage of that aspect, so you'll see. For the redraw for this one, I drew it as close as possible and kind of kept things pretty much all the same while adding my own style, obviously, and I decided to go with a simple half-body shot for this one, but I decided to add some extra coloring that doesn't break the color scheme too much. Taking a closer look, it says it's an HH Angel OC on the reference sheet, which I'd assume means has been hotel? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that because I know the show has angels in it, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea, I've never watched it. I've only really listened to the songs on repeat because holy cow, those are some bangers, man. Especially the Anna Pence Dude covers. Is that how you say her name? I don't know, but I love her covers, man. She's what got me into the songs, not gonna lie. You're a loser, be okay. I'm not doing that, no, no, no. And like I said, I took advantage of the red being incorporated into the OC and I added red highlights to things like the eyes, horns, dress, and hair. I also noticed the pearl necklace and decided to add color to give it a pearl look. And it looked a little weird at first, but once it was done, I'd say it's fine. I made the skin not completely white and gave it a very light blue to give the effect that it's white with the color palette I chose. Once it's done, it looks more white, I swear. And that's actually something that confused people in my last video, since a lot of people were asking why Ramona's skin looked the way it did. But trust me, I pre-plan how I want my colors to look, even sometimes saving color palettes in my color gallery. They look wonky at first, but once they're done, they look a lot better and it makes more sense. This one was super fun to draw and I loved making it. Here's the finished drawing, and you should totally go subscribe to them here on YouTube. Hopefully I flash the user on screen again. Let's spin again. Next is a submission made by a milkshake, and it looks like we have a gotcha OC, and whoa, I love the colors. The outfit is super cool too, and the OC gives kind of like an inventor vibe, like Varian from the Tangled the Series vibes. I originally was going to have them holding their goggles, but I went with a peace sign instead. I also originally planned to do a waist up shot, but I zoomed in a bit because I didn't like how it looked. I kept the designing colors pretty much the same, and I probably had too much fun with the colors to be honest, and I literally loved doing the hair. I wanted them leaning down a bit, like they're being cutesy for a photo, and this was overall just super fun to do. I just adore working with interesting color palettes such as this, which is why I was so excited to start drawing this. The colors of this would totally taste like strawberry shortcake popsicles. Don't question it. I also loved the little squiggle mouth, so I had to incorporate it in the drawing. I just loved making this overall. I really love the outfit as well, and I love the armbands that have like little spikes on them. I have bracelets that look exactly like that. Also, for the longest time while drawing this, I forgot to do the fingerless gloves, but don't worry, add them later on. <laughs> Something about accessories is just so fun. Like, I just loved making the arm spike bands. But yeah, overall, the drawing was really cute and I loved it, so go sub to them here on YouTube. Here's the finished drawing. This is gonna be a very long process. 
I might just skip ahead to the end of the um, spins every time because it keeps lagging. It's taking so long too. Why is it taking so long? <gasps> Stop. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I thought. Okay, we're good. We're good. Next up was Butterfly on Toast with their adorable humanized Butterfly OC. It's so cute and I don't think I've ever seen a Butterfly OC before, so that's such a cool concept to work with, and I was really excited for this one. For this one I kept it all the same pretty much, and I literally love drawing the outfit. I don't know, something about drawing semi-transparent things is so much fun, like making the purple sleeves was literally so great. It's also why my OC Vicky wears sunglasses, I'm just a sucker for drawing semi-transparent pieces. The wings were so much fun to work with, I love blending the colors and making it semi-transparent, and I wanted to give her this innocent vibe, so I made her this pose with the cute hands behind the back pose, since her drawing kind of looked like she was this innocent little butterfly fairy person, and I wanted to give her these big old doe eyes. The original artist also attached this mermaid version, which was also freaking cool. It's not actually incorporated into my redraw, but I wanted to show it anyway. Also, I'm in love with how her color palette reference is mini butterflies. That was such a creative detail. I gave her this little red hooked nose and it was so- I just loved it, I don't know. The whole design is just so cute, I love it so much. And I also wanted to give her these like weirdly shaped um, irises. I don't know, I just love making the little squiggly irises instead of just circles. And as always, the hair was so fun to draw, I loved it. But yeah, overall this was so much fun, make sure to subscribe to their YouTube. Okay, now that I re it reloaded itself, it's actually it's like moving a lot better now. Did I jinx myself? Next up is Encrypted Archivist, who gave me two OCs to choose from, so yes! These are literally the silliest little dudes ever, and I love them. It took me a hot minute to finally pick one, and I went with the left one, Crow. It's so cute, and I love its adorable little outfit. It's an adorable little fluff ball, I just had to draw it. I made sure to draw it so it's cilius intensified as much as I could possibly do it, and it took me a few tries to get the perfect pose, but I finally got it and it was glorious. I wanted to do a full body for this one because I instantly envisioned poses that would be terrible if I didn't use them. I had so much fun drawing this, I loved making the fluffy head and tail and the eyes, and I was tempted to pull a kinger and make similarly placed eyes like with one way up higher than the other, but what with the ones you see on screen? I don't know why, but OCs like these are just so much fun to work with. Also, I apologize for any background noise, my cat's being a little bit crazy right now and he's like running around the room. Also, the rabbit one is also so cute, which is what made the decision so hard, like who gave this person the right to make these OCs so visually pleasing? It's so good it should be a crime. Crow kind of reminds me of those pom-pom balls, but fluffier, and I loved it and I wanted to give it a hug. I wanted to give it this like dead stare, so it looks like it's like staring like into your soul, or it's like staring and there's like no thoughts behind its eyes. The only thing about this is, is I don't like how the grippers turned out. I don't, I don't know, I just don't like the way it looks. But overall, I love, love, love the color palette, and this was just overall a great OC to draw. Make sure to follow the artist on Tumblr. Yeah, see, it's getting a lot better now. I was scared that it went refreshed. I thought it was gonna, like, erase it completely, and I was like, I almost shot myself. And next up is Ella V2206, and oh my gosh, I love this. The colors and detail are everything, and from the second I saw this, I knew it was gonna have, like, so much fun with the accessories. And spoiler alert, I definitely did. I love how the OC is blowing bubblegum, because I, yet again, love to abuse the transparency option. I don't know, I just, it's just so fun, and it looks so cool once it's done. I love making accessories on characters, so this was definitely a great piece for me to do. I did two separate sketches for this one, because I didn't really like the first one, but it was really good the second time around, so I kept that one. The only problem I had with making this piece was the hair. The original artist did it so good, and I felt like every time I tried, it looked terrible. But after a few attempts, I think it turned out alright. Did I have too much fun with this? Absolutely. I decided to go for a similar angle where she's facing like the back. And um, I kind of like the pose. I was, it's always like, really bad at those kind of poses. So I was like really worried how this was going to turn out. But I think it turned out pretty fine. I also love the amount of stars in this because I love drawing stars. I, I, I don't know why, I just love it. It's just so much fun to draw. But here's the finished piece. Go follow them on Instagram.
The user wonder why idiot is next, and with their adorable OC Akane. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. I'm really bad with name pronunciation. It's just pronunciation in general. I've mentioned that before. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I love, love, love her design, especially the hair. Since I'm a sucker for multicolored hair, it's just so much fun to draw, and I wonder why I don't do it as much. I really love the hairstyle and had loads of fun with it. I kept the design pretty much all the same, not really adding any of my own signature spice, really. Since I like to do that sometimes with minor details like sparkly hair or overly detailed eyes, Maybe sometimes like an even tiny little accessory that I add on, but I did do like a tiny thing. I didn't really do much, but what I did was uh, with a little gem on her chest, at least that's what I think it is, I made it glow with the bloom effect because I thought it'd be a cool detail. If I'm wrong with it not being a gem, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I thought what I thought it was, but it's really cute. Um, they submitted this on an art app called Artful, which I actually really recommend since the community over there just seems really nice from what I've seen so far. And the only downside, is so far growth on there does seem kind of hard but that just might be me and i still do recommend it since it's just a nice place to post art i post really some only sometimes but all the comments i have received are super duper nice i haven't seen really any hate comments on other posts i viewed either but back on topic this was so much fun to work with especially the hair but yeah here's the finished piece go follow them on artful for squiddies here we've got our first furry oc on the list i, I mean do these guys count maybe they are furry, but are they furries? I mean, maybe the one on the right, but I don't know if they qualify as such. I think that's up to the original artist. But I'm gonna count this as the first furry, and boy do I love it. I love the skull shirt. It's probably my most favorite clothing piece to draw, especially for my own characters. Cough, cough, um, gloom. A <laughs> cough, cough. I decided to go with more, a more silly style, because this guy's eyes just made me really want to do like a sillier style. And I'm really bad with furry, so I do apologize if this looks wonky. And that goes for the other furry on this list, which, yes, it's the spoiler alert, there's another furry on this list. I really only drew furries a lot when I was in middle school, and the last time I drew a furry was for a thumbnail in my furry video. I thought it'd be fitting, that's why I did like the whole silly look. Some info on them is the character's name is Fizz, they love fun, soda, 2000s stuff, and loud music. They're also pretty rowdy and careless, so I think the silly style and also the pose I decided to do kind of matches the personality. They appear to dislike reading old stuff, including old people? <laughs> not gonna lie, I laughed a bit reading that because I did not expect old people to be on the dislike list. I try to make the pose as fitting as possible, and I think the peace signs just kind of worked with it. I don't know. I really like drawing peace signs, if you couldn't tell, because like, a lot of my drawings have them. But I think I did this one pretty well. What do you guys think, though? Here's the finished drawing, and make sure to sub to their YouTube. Bucket of nickels. If I'm being honest, this submission made me freak out, and I don't mean I mean this in the best way possible. I freaked out with pure joy when I saw this, and I might have a tiny bias for the finished drawing with this one for a huge reason. It's a rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles OC. So when I spun on that user and I realized what the OC was, I instantly got so excited. And oh my gosh, I am in love. If you're new here or haven't men heard me mention TMNT or make any references of that in a video, you don't know, but I'm obsessed with the Ninja Turtles. Like, that's not an exaggeration at all. I have a huge collection of- I have multiple outfits I wear dedicated to the Ninja Turtles. My bag I constantly wear has Ninja Turtles. My wallet has Ninja Turtles. My keys has Ninja Turtles on it. Everything. Hell, when I went- when everyone was, like, spending their Valentine's Day with their loved ones, I was sitting in a Ross line waiting to buy my TMNT-themed chocolate heart box for myself i literally it literally floods my brain every day and oh my goodness i'm rambling okay i need to stop what also mainly stuck out to me is that this is a purple dragons oc which fun fact the purple dragons and donnie are my favorite characters of the 2018 team and t version and i've watched the episodes they're in over, over 20 times it's not a problem don't judge me anyway this guy's name's poe and he's an opossum based off of a scrapped archie comics character he's the son of dastardly danny and is obsessed with motors for this, I decided to step a bit out of my comfort zone because I've never really drawn an opossum, so I decided to like add a little bit extra work and learn how to draw one. I looked up a bunch of different opossum references and decided to go with a side profile because I figured that would be the easiest option for me. I love this character design. You don't really usually see opossum-like furries, which I thought was really cool. The information that the artist gave me was really interesting and I loved reading through it. And I just really overall love the character design. I love the piercings. I love everything. Ah, I love it. I really like this one, but I don't know if it looks wonky. You guys tell me. But I really hope the original artist likes it. This one was super hard, but super fun. Go subscribe to the original artist.
Next up was an OC made by Maple Mail, and they had a simple but adorable design for their OC. It actually reminded me of an OC I had from when I was around 11 to 12 years old. Since no joke, he looked exactly like this. But he was human, and as Maple explained in the description, their OC has animal hooves due to a weird mutation. I wanted to keep that aspect, but since I plan on doing a headshot, I decided on giving him an animal-like nose, but you'll see that at the end since I kind of forgot to do it until later, but yeah. The OC's name is Mist, and he's shy and loves nature. I think his character design is adorable, and I absolutely love the design. I really hope the redesign, I, I think it does, it kind of shows his shy personality with the expression and everything. I also loved making the tooth necklace and headphones, because I just love accessories as I've said earlier, and as usual, the hair was my favorite part to draw. I don't know, I just really love drawing hair. But overall, this was really cute and I loved how it turned out. Go follow the artist on Tumblr. Last up is Choiko, I think that's how you pronounce it. Choik? I'm not sure. <laughs> but they gave this amazing son OC. Her name is Sunny and she loves cats and annoying her brother. For this, I decided to give her these cute misplaced eyes to add this silly touch, and I also made her head glow, which you'll see on screen at some point. I just thought the silly eyes would look so cute, and I think it, I think it is. I also just am in love with the outfit. It was so much fun to draw, and I love the colors. I honestly just love the colors of the piece overall. I love the entire concept, and I haven't really seen much like it, and I had so much fun with it. I love drawing the sun and of course abusing the bloom effect to make her as bright as the sun. The bloom effect is probably one of my favorite effects, and I always add some unnecessary like glowing object in my thing, like maybe a phone or a light, or in this case the sun, just so I have an excuse to use it because I just love the way it looks. I love drawing bright things like suns, so I was really excited to draw this and I had a lot of fun coloring it. Overall, I love this OC and I love the entire concept. I just it was so much fun to draw. Here's the drawing, and go follow the amazing artist on Tumblr. But that is it for the redesigns. You know, now that I think of it, I should have done 30 subscribers for 30,000 subs. Would you guys even sat through that? I mean, it's a really- that'd probably be a really long video. And to be honest, my hand would probably ache after that, so maybe 10 was the safest option. Especially since my storage would have been on life support. But I, again, am about to go on a mushy rant, so if you want, you just you can skip ahead to the brush codes and fan art, which I really hope you stick around for. I wish, and I, I truly wish, I could express how freaking happy I am, because I feel like I'm really bad at showing it to you guys, and no matter how many times I say it, it won't express how grateful I am. You guys are literally so amazing, and every time I receive a nice comment, fan art piece, or just interact with you guys in general, it feels like I'm back at day one receiving my first compliment on my videos. I keep seeing this account grow and it still continues to shock me. Like I am so grateful for everything and that's kind of why I try to be as interactive with my audience as much as I can because I really want you guys to know that I love y'all. Every fan art has literally had me freaking out by the way. Some people are like, well, you know, it's not that good. Shut up. No, no, I would gladly devour all of your art pieces. It's literal eye candy guys, every single one of those pieces. But I'm going to spare you guys the ranting. I've got some fun videos lined up and bigger projects I haven't even revealed yet. And as always, thank you for sitting through today's yap session. Here are the brush codes. I'm going to head out to the next one. So as always, make sure to love your art, love others, and love yourselves. Bye-bye.